Abraham may face legal action if she backs out of a celebrity boxing match. The former Teen Mom Ad star is scheduled to go head to head against Flavor of Love alum Nicole Hoops Alexander during the match set for November. 10 in Atlantic City. Get push notifications with news, articles, and more. Follow following Hooray. You'll get the latest updates on this topic in your browser notifications. While she confirmed to People on Friday that she is still planning to participate in the event, she asserted that the promoters who organized it are in breach of contract. They have not gotten flights or delivered on contractual obligations as well as safety, said Abraham, 27. According to The Blast, promoters Damon Feldman, Samantha Goldberg and their attorney, Tony List, are threatening to sue for millions if she bails on the event. They also said that they met all of her demands and that as of now, the fight is still on. The report states that first-class plane tickets have allegedly been purchased for Abraham and her nine-year-old daughter Sophia, and that she has been paid half the money she's owed up front. TMZ previously reported that Abraham was supposed to get 32 hotel rooms, six plane tickets and a couple dozen fight night tickets. Both Feldman and Goldberg told The Blast that they are surprised by the situation and that they believe this may be a move made by Abraham's team to garner publicity for the fight. Organizers for the event also told the outlet that Abraham never brought up these issues during their press tour. Abraham has been actively posting about the match and sharing her workouts on social media. Recently, she shared a photo on Instagram of her and her daughter in a boxing studio. Even as Abraham told people she absolutely still intends to fight, her lawyer made statements indicating that she shouldn't have to. Abraham's manager, David Weintraub, told The Blast, Farah has no choice but to not be involved in this debacle. The promoter has been in breach of the contract, he has not delivered on anything that was promised in the contract. Mostly, it was based on misinformation about his financial situation. We wish him the best with a low-end, mockery of an exhibition fight. He also never secured a proper pay-per-view deal which was in the contract or sold enough tickets 